Hi guys and welcome to this quick tutorial about functions or methods in Java. So what is a method? A method is actually some lines of code that are usually um, repeated several times in your code so you decide to place them inside a function or a method and call this method whenever you need to execute these lines or maybe you have some lines of code that perform a specific calculation that you want to call to calculate something or so. So this is basically a method. So let's just create a simple method that will add two numbers and give us the result of the addition, right? So first of all, to create a, a method, we can use the um, private or public uh, keywords. We're going to talk about this these keywords later on when we talk about the classes. But for now, let's assume that we're going to create a private um, method. And this method is going to return an integer, which is the addition of two numbers. So we type in the return type of the method so we type in int and then we type the name of our method so I'm gonna name it add okay and then between two brackets we type the parameters of the arguments that this function takes so it's gonna basically take two numbers or two integers we'll just name them int x and then comma and int y so basically this function add takes two integers x and y and returns an integer okay and between two curly braces we write the logic of our function alright so what this function is gonna do is it's gonna actually the sum so I'm gonna type in here sum is equal to or I mean and sum is equal to x plus y so this is the summation of x and y and then what we wanna do is actually return this sum right so there's a special keyword that's called return and then we type in the uh, whatever we want to return okay and this the data type of what we return must match the return type of the function which is int so I'm gonna return the sum right so what this function does is it, it actually takes x and y integers and then calculates the sum and then returns the sum so this is basically what this end function does all right okay so uh, let's just test this function real quick I'm gonna delete this and end result is equal to add and then two and three Okay, since we're calling this function from a static method, then whatever method that we call inside this static method must be also static. So I'm going to add static here and promise me we're going to talk about the static and private and public keywords whenever we talk about the classes. Okay, so basically this result is going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So let's print this result, system out of the print line result. Let's run our code, and here we go. We get the 5. Okay, so this is a simple example for the methods. In the previous tutorial, I told you that I implemented a function print array to print the 2D array that we created. All right, so actually, um, it's a function that takes a 2D array, which is this array right here, and it does not return anything. So if a function does not have a return type, we just type the keyword void instead of typing a return type like integer, like int in this case. Okay, so it's a private static void. So it's void because it does not return anything. And inside this uh, this method, we actually 
loop over the array and then print the elements of the array. So this is basically a method to print a matrix uh, like representation of the 2D array. So I think that's it for the methods uh, in this tutorial and see you in the next one.